Yo, what's up guys and welcome to my house. Today we start a new type of video in this YouTube channel which is gonna be more of a vlog series where I answer questions from you guys. Pretty much like this one that doesn't have to do with sound design or production but it correlates with it because you need this. Um, other questions that might relate to this vlog series are gonna be like how do I promote my music? My parents don't support what I'm doing. How do I convince them? Um, you know, how do I make time for producing? Stuff like that. So make sure to leave a like if you like these type of videos. Leave a comment below on the other type of videos I should make like this one and let's get started boom evolution of sound Alright ninjas, so this question gets asked a lot in the Evolution of Sound Facebook group which is a sound design group so if you guys have enjoyed make sure to check it out. I answer a lot of questions on there and I also have a blog which you guys can sign up for. Go to evilsounds.com bottom left corner onto the newsletter to get updates on the blog posts that I do and I am going to be making one for this video which is going to be very supplemental because in this video I'm not going to explain the technicalities of everything I'm talking about but in the blog post I will explain how RAM will help with producing faster, how having more you know, hard drive space, having a faster processor will help you. And this video, I'm not gonna explain none of that. I'm just gonna explain what the minimum requirements are. So let's get started. The first thing we need to ask ourselves, guys, is whether we want a desktop or a laptop. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, my recommendation is to get a desktop if you are not touring, if you're not gonna use this computer to DJ as well, if you're not gonna have gigs. If you are a DJ and you're not going out to gigs every weekend, you do not need a fucking laptop. You can learn to use CDJ so you can borrow someone else's laptop for this shit. So my recommendation is to get a desktop. However, if you want to go the laptop route, then go it. The only reason I see a lot of people doing the laptops is because they see their favorite DJs on the fucking airplane or, you know, somewhere working on the song and they're like, oh my god, I want to go to Starbucks and make a song. That rarely happens. So, desktop will help you get faster a faster computer at a much cheaper price. So keep that in mind. I use a desktop and that's all I use. I have, guys, I have a MacBook Pro and it's the fastest one and I don't even use it. So again, desktop will be the better choice, but the first step is either pick the desktop or pick the laptop. The second step is gonna be to pick the operating system, which is gonna be either Windows or Mac based. There's also other ones, but these are the two main ones. Now, I'm gonna talk a little bit about both of them. Let's start with Windows. Windows is the cheaper one. Windows is the one that you'll get a faster computer at a cheaper price. However, it does have a bad reputation with artists in the sense that a lot of people say this, it's not a fact, but it's something that's word of mouth that Windows computers are not reliable um, and pretty much they're more vulnerable to viruses and malware. On the other hand, we have the Mac counterpart which is reliable and they're not as vulnerable to viruses and stuff. Now, what is the bad side of them both, of the Mac, sorry? The bad side of the Mac is that it's hella, hella, hella expensive and pretty much you're paying for the brand to be honest. So, if you have money to dish out, and you want to get a Mac desktop or a Mac laptop, I say go for it, but my recommendation for this one is going to be to go with the Windows based. For those of you guys who want to get into producing and literally are going to be a lot more careful. Now, the only difference here is that you have to be a lot more careful and that you don't get to brag to your friends that you have an uh, Apple based computer, but in the end, we want this to produce, not to show off. So I'm going to say my recommendation for this part is going to be to go with the Windows based. However, if you go with the Mac based, keep watching the video because we're going to talk about it either way. Step three, guys, is gonna be to pick a price point. Now, I'm gonna say, if you guys go with the Mac alternative, then at least expect to pay upwards of 1,500 and up. And with a PC, a Windows-based, expect to spend between 400 to $1,000, maybe 1,200 max. And that's gonna be like the fastest thing we're gonna get. Okay, mainly because if, the difference here is that for the Mac-based computers, literally, I have this Mac here and it cost me 2400 and I used it and it could run about 10 instances of Serum but if I were to make production videos for you guys tutorials I would only be able to run like two versions of Serum and then it would start to lag. Now, let's move on. Once you have picked your price point, I already give you guys a price point. Let's go to the next step. Next step is gonna be to pick how much RAM you want in your computer. Now, I'm not gonna get into the technicalities of them, but both of the laptop, both the Windows and the Mac is gonna use RAM, and RAM's gonna help in making, you know, short-term memory just run faster. In instance, this is, all, it's, this is all gonna equal to your computer running a lot faster. You're gonna be able to process memory faster, and in essence, you're gonna have a faster computer. The minimum requirement, guys, here is gonna be eight gigs of RAM, 
but I strongly recommend to get 16 gigs of RAM, especially with synthesizers like Serum coming out, synthesizers like Yuhi Diva that offer this high quality that you guys can get, you're gonna have to at least get 16 gigs of RAM. Now, if you go the Mac alternative, the only one you can get for 16 gigs of RAM up there is gonna run you around $2,000 to $2,400. This is why the Mac is very expensive and I don't recommend it because then you can go and buy a cheaper Mac. But the problem with that is, is that you're gonna have to bounce out, you're only gonna be able to run like maybe a few instances of Serum um, and on the counterpart of the PC, you were to spend a thousand two hundred, you'll be able to run as many serums as you fucking want. Now we go to the processor, guys. Now the Windows processor minimum minimum is going to be an i5 processor, and maximum, obviously, you know, my recommendation is going to be to get the i7. Now, if you're on Windows based and you're getting a laptop or a desktop. Most of them are gonna come with it at around the price range of around five hundred to seven hundred dollars And that's a lot because again if you were to go with the Mac based counterpart And you want something equivalent to the i7 processor you're gonna have to dish out Two thousand dollars and upward while as with the laptops you can dish out seven hundred and you're done with a desktop the same exact thing so we have gotten the Mac processor. We got the, the processor for Windows. What else do we need? We're gonna go with memory and this is gonna be memory, storage data, storage memory. Now, minimum, I'm gonna say guys, if you're gonna be pretty much putting samples and saving them in your hard drive in your computer, you're not gonna have an external hard drive, then minimum, you're gonna need one terabyte of memory but I'm gonna recommend a max of two terabytes. I think two terabytes is where you're gonna be at. Now, this is where Mac tends to fall off because Windows offers laptops with two terabytes at the price range that I gave you guys, one terabyte. Mac computers, however, this one, $2,400, telling you right now, cost me too much, and it has about 500 gigabytes of storage space, which is, you know, halfway to one terabyte, which doesn't even meet the minimum. So you're gonna have to dish out way more. However, there's kind of something that you can do about this. However, when I was running with this, I did buy an external drive that cost me around $100 and that helped a lot. So if you're running with the Mac situation, I suggest you get the $2,400 version, the cheaper one that has the, I the 16 gigs of RAM, the i7, and then buy an external drive. Do not upgrade the internal one. Just buy an external one. It works just as fine. All right, guys, the last and final step is going to be the graphics card and the audio card. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, these do not fucking matter, mainly because I'm going to assume you guys are going to be running audio interfaces. And what I mean by this, I mean like a Scarlett UI and all this other stuff. So the audio card, the stock one, is perfectly fine. The all right, guys, and the final thing, this is going to be my review. I bought the MacBook Pro, the pretty much the 15.6 inch display, and the camera needs to focus. I bought it, and you guys can see this is the 15 inch one. This is the one that cost me $2,400. It looks really nice, I'm not gonna lie. I feel great when I use it in public because people know, like, damn, that guy must have money. Um, but in the end, I bought it because of these big DJs because I thought, oh my god, these big DJs use them. That means they must be fucking good. And to be honest, the only thing that I can say good about the laptop is the fact that one, the Mac system is a bit more appealing. It's more simple, so it's nicer. Two, it's a lot reliable, so if you're doing DJing, that's good. However, other than that, that's it. So PC, I think wins for me. I think PC is the way to go because you have access to Apple Studio, Pro Tools. The only thing Mac's gonna give you is logic, but I don't think that's a big deal breaker. Anyways guys, those are my recommendations. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care and have a good one. Don't be dead.